Hello. Today, I'm coming at you from beautiful Leoben. It's Austria, it's winter, it's fucking cold. Yeah. I hate this. It's not good. Employee first. Doesn't have to mean customer second. Um, it's just a way to keep the team rolling and keep the team going. And you have to remember, we're not as good a team as maybe football players that have been playing together for 20, 30 years. But maybe we're just kind of getting started with each other. We're kind of fired up. We want to do shit, but we don't know how much or how. What's really important with this is to keep in mind, we're like still in the starting process. We're not a company that now tells you of their Fortune 500 story. We take you on our journey and nobody really knows where this journey will lead. And I, I know for a fact that not everybody's going to stay. I picture cut for their life, for example. And I don't know where my future is going to lead me, but I like what I'm doing and I like where I'm going because we have the vision. We don't have the road set out yet. Sometimes you have to get lost in the woods to find your way again or get on a different path, whatever you need at that time. And this is best to discuss with yourself first, but then take it to other people. We only have our minds to guide us and words won't give you much. Decisions and then action. This action that you come to is going to lead you somewhere. And it's going to lead you on the right path. You just have to have the you have the strength to decide if it's good or bad. So I'm gonna I'm say it with a big company in my back, in, my, in the back of my head. Um, just fucking do it. Nobody's gonna hold you from anything. Happiness and everything else, future, is within yourself. And I don't think we have to strive to be happy. We have to look to be happy. We have to listen. To see what is actually in front of us. To see this beautiful garden I'm fucking standing in, to be in the apartment that I'm in right now, to look at the sun rising and feel like a kid when they get a new football or something. It's not always easy, but that's not the point. I have worked a lot uh, in January on picture cut things, so I'm just, the time is a bit out of the loop and I have to work myself back into it. You know, marketing is not only the product, it's also the people behind the product. Not only in my opinion, but it's basically modern day marketing to just sell your personality in whatever you do. Maybe art, like we do here, or maybe just something more arbitrary, but it always also always depends on the personalities. And in my opinion, there's a lot of good personalities uh, in this picture cut group. And uh, this brings me to the next point, because I'm just going to state this. There's no picture cut meeting without a good laugh basically. And we're all team players. We all value each other's time. Although sometimes there's slip-ups, we're usually very forgiving amongst each other when something like this happens. For example, I'll admit that I almost missed a meeting uh, a couple days ago. And usually we maybe get a call or a text like, hey, are you going to make this meeting? Are you going to attend? Hey guys, it's me, Jacob. And yeah, let's start. At first, what do we think about the projects? I personally think that the projects that we do are all pretty neat and yeah, ni a nice experience. And about mistakes, I think that mistakes are perfectly normal and we are humans, so it's okay that we do mistakes. It's pretty normal, but you have to learn out of your mistakes, otherwise mistakes are useless. About handling pressure. I Personally, I think that it's pretty hard sometimes to handle pressure, but pressure is necessary to create diamonds. Hey guys, so I'm currently working on the project order for our, one of our clients, our customers. And yeah, I just wanted to take the time and talk a little bit about the handling of our employees. As this week's topic is employee first. Um, I think we work very well in a team. I personally think Behind the Cut is a very nice project as it looks a little bit into the depths of Picture Cut and how we work. And I think that's pretty cool to watch on YouTube, I guess. Teamwork at Picture Cut is a thing which works pretty well. Everyone gets along with 
anyone pretty good. Um, I think we have a very good connection to all our employees. I don't think that doing work for picture cut is much of a stress factor. It's more fun than let's say doing stuff for school or doing any other work I guess because it's really what our employees are passionate about. I think we give our employees enough time for every task. We also ask them before how long they think it will take to finish. So it's really not that much pressure from our side. So I'm recording this for the third time because it's like we're very early and everything I said so far is really rubbish. Putting your employee first means that you put their values, their well-being and their ideas before their ideas, values and the well-being of the customer. Money is not the most important thing in a creative company and it's not the most important thing in many companies. The most important thing is having the right to say something, having the right to be heard. And if you put your employees first, they feel more hurt again and they are actually more hurt. So this is a system that is not really easy to implement because of course again your customers get you your money and every time an employee hands in something too late or says that he needs or she needs more time this means that there has to be something replanned and then for example a milestone has to be planned which then we would need to tell to the customer which wouldn't look good. But again, it's important so the employee feels heard and the employee actually can have an influence in the company. Then again, there is no punishment for, for handing in something too late or no direct punishment. The indirect punishment is that you have to think about all the other people that now have to replan work, that now have to redo work. So if you hand in something too late and it's really your fault, for example, you were just lazy. I think it's punishment enough that you have to think about all the other, other people that you let down. So I don't think there needs to be a direct punishment. And about deadlines, if somebody misses the deadline, we normally execute him immediately and yeah. Also, if you have direct punishment, people start to act out of fear and work out of fear and not out of creativity. They, they don't work so they can create a great product because they want to create a great product. They, they work because they fear that if they don't work well, they get punished. I think a little bit pressure is all right and also helps you to be more productive. But if you have too much of it, it of course is very bad for your mental health and also physical health. Considering employee first and having enough time to work also means again that you have less stress and you feel hurt if you say uh, next time I do a package like this I want more time for it and then the project manager actually gives you more time. So if you feel more hurt that means having enough time to work. On package. Hi, Ulpe here. Well, to be honest, don't really have much to say about this topic. I mean, we as employees are treated quite well. I think maybe a, a little too well. Uh, yeah, but but it's nice. It's really nice. There's not too much pressure. We are all working well with each other in a, in a friendly environment so yeah there aren't really any big problems and for now I think this employee first policy has proved its worth quite well and I, I personally hope that it'll, that it'll keep working out as good as this yeah that's all <laughs>